So Cody comes down to the ring. Tony Schiavone is there. And he's about to ask him about Sting when the lights go out. And out comes Sting. I was really surprised they went to Sting so early in the show. Thorn grabs a mic. I think they want everyone to call their friends and get people watching the show as early as possible. I guess. That'd be my guess. I don't know if that really works, but, um, you know, I don't know. So Tony and Sting had a moment in there, and Tony gave a good old-fashioned, this is Sting, and the fans go crazy. And then Cody says, Sting, want to say thanks for the assist last week, but let's get to the point. I've been waiting to share a ring with you for a very, very long time. And Sting says, well, I'm not here for you, at least not right now. There's something that makes me feel at home here, and he points to the bleachers, and there's Darby. And he puts over all of the angle, the wrestlers here, the animals in the jungle. He's on TNT again. He's signed officially with AEW. He says, I'm going to be close to the AEW fans, and I'm going to be in this promotion for a long time. And I'll see you around, kid. He pats Cody and he leaves. So clearly there's something going on with Sting, Cody, Darby, and I guess we'll see where it goes. Yeah. I mean, one of the one of the key things here is that um is that Sting you know like Sting is going to end his career well I mean <laughs> I mean we've been talking about Sting ending his career since the first year he signed in uh with TNA you know every year was going to be his I don't know if people know the story but when he first signed with TNA whatever it was 2005ish whatever the first year was I mean it was a one year contract and that was going to be the last year and then every year at the end of the contract, Dixie Carter would beg him one more year. And he'd go, okay, this is last year. You know, one last year. And here we are, 15 years later. It's unbelievable. I mean, I guess the positive is is that he's probably enjoyed some of this time. But he, this this one, I mean, I, tell you, I feel like so silly saying this. But he, he wants to end his career on his terms because with WWE, he did not do that. You know, I mean, there were... Thing, you know, I mean, he got hurt and, and couldn't wrestle again, but, um, you know, he didn't, you know, then they just basically took him off TV. He wasn't their guy. Um, you know, that's just how it was. I mean, we, I, you know, we could always rehash, you know, how they used him and everything. I was, you know, I don't want to say appalled. I mean, it was just, it's, it's just what it was. I mean, I, I know, like in his mind, like, but then again, you know, Sting's never been like a, a guy who, you know, I mean, maybe when he was younger, but but he, he's not a guy who like I don't think like it ever like lived and died with this. So it's like however Vince wanted to use him, he pay me, you know, use me, whatever. But like like at the end, the the last time when he, when when he was finished up with um, TNA, the last year with TNA, if you remember, the big thing that he did was he he wrestled Nick Aldis and he let Nick Aldis beat him with the Scorpion Deathlock in the middle, and that was it. That was going to be it. That's my farewell. I'm putting over this new guy. Um, you know, the new star, I'm letting him beat me with my own hold. And, you know, I'm not, re this time I'm really not renewing because TNA was in such bad financial shape by that point that they couldn't afford to renew him. So it's like, okay, it's over. And then, you know, things happened, you know, it's like, like everything. It's, uh, the video game people, you know, wanted to bring Sting in for the video game and that's all it was going to be. And then they announced it and then everybody just jumped. Oh, we're going to get Sting and Undertaker at WrestleMania. And, so, you know, the reaction was so big for Sting that, you know, Vince felt, well, we got to use him. And so we didn't get Undertaker and Sting, but we got the Triple H thing. And it was just, you know, Vince's concept is like, uh, well, let's end the wrestling war. You know, I mean, it was so ridiculous and whatever. And so the idea was, you know, I was a member there that night in, in Santa Clara. And it was the, the whole idea was that um, this is Sting's one and only WF match. So, of course, it's his one and only match. He loses to Triple H because he's not coming back. And then a couple months later, hey, we got this idea. Let's put him with Seth Rollins. And and so that was his other thing. And, um, you know, when, uh, you know, that that ended, that was a complete disaster, unfortunately, in, in many ways. But um, and ended his career. But, um, you know, I mean, he, you know, he, he didn't get the neck surgery. But he doesn't feel bad at all. And, um, you know, whatever he can do, he can do. Um, I think Cody, you know, Cody, Cody, when he was a kid, his favorite wrestler was Sting. And, um, 
you know, so we'll see how these this storyline plays out. But you know, we're going to see a lot of him. It's not he, it's not like he's going to be on twice a year. I mean, he's going to be a regular television character on this show. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got twelve thousand episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.